You know the drill. Sub up, like, and turn on notification bells. Enjoy the video, cuzzo. Jim, you want to find an eatery? Yeah, I guess. Hey, babe, what's wrong? Um, nothing of the sort. I'm all right. All right. So, uh, Red Robin or Olive Garden? I guess Olive Garden. Hello, 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 Kenzie and Jim. Been a while. I'm not here to argue, not here to fight, or do anything that's completely barbaric. I'm only here to be a civil person and apologize for not being on the same page for months. Actually? Yes, I am. That's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry for acting psychotic and for taking shots at you and your daughter. I accept Nixie. Thank you very much. As we speak, I also want to inform you that I'm seeking help. In approximately 10 to 17 days, I should be mentally stable again. Glad to hear. All right, Ellington, I'm gonna take a stroll for a few more yards and head back home. Goodbye. All right, Jim. Olive Garden now? Yeah, all right. Got you. Hawaiian goddess is about to feel something worse than having a child at a young age. I got it all planned out. Ace the quiz? 83. Still a B. 86. I think we can agree that statistics isn't that difficult. Depends if you pay attention and know how to do it. Yep. Oh, what's good, babe? Any quizzes today? Um, nah, no quizzes for me today. Although I have an English test tomorrow. Got it. Anyways, since school's about to end, wanna go to Dairy Queen? I would, but I actually have a few errands to run. I, um, gotta clean my room, um, paint my fence, and my mom has to get her license renewed. Shit. I'll definitely tag along for Dairy Queen. I'll pay. I'll catch you later, babe. Thank God. Quit running like a dummy, Jim. If Kirkin catches you, he'll give your nappy-ass detention. I'm trying to run so I can enjoy my day. God. Also, why do you have a hammer in your hand? Mr. Wright wanted me to fix up the molding in his classroom since it's rotting. I already have a new piece of molding set up and now I just have to hammer it down. Meh, whatever. Least you ain't running away from a poisonous hoe. Huh? Poisonous? You heard me loud and clear, and should know who I'm referring to. No, I don't. Just tell me who you're referring to. Kenzie. My nigga, you for real? Your own girl? Wow. What's even wrong with her? I thought you and her are dating. Hey, she's honestly been lame as fuck, spending more time with her daughter than me these days, crying because of people shitting on her. She fell off for me, and to be for real, I only dated her in the first place because I felt bad for her. I mean, I feel bad she was sexually assaulted, but God, she's a pussy about everything. Now personally, you gotta realize you got it good. Sure, Kenzie may have a daughter at a young fucking age, and she might act emotional because of the shit she went through, but she's still a good woman to be around. You should be grateful you got a girl in your senior year, Cuddy. I don't want to catch no disease from that woman, man. I've been thinking about it, and I want to end shit with her. Like, seriously, Nixie told me something about this months ago, and uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. She's honestly correct with her statement. Nixie! Dude, how much weed you been smoking on a daily basis? You do realize she's a psychopath, right? Well, she claimed she was finna seek help, and she apologized to Kenzie. And hey, let me tell you, she looked mad fine. Oh. So I see what's up with you. 
Just because Nixie looks better than Kenzie and doesn't have a child means you can get rid of Kenzie for a psychopath, huh? Wow, dude. You're a certified moron if you ask me. Damn right. Next thing you'll know, Kenzie will probably have me raise Katie with her. And I'm not ready for that yet. Nixie, though, she bad. Your choice. Just please, make sure you let her down gently if you want to stick to your guns. While I'm still not fond of it, still, your choice. Oh, what's good, Nixie? Jim, what brings you here? Strolling around, living freely. Got it. So, uh, where's Kenzie at? Away from me. Hey, what are you so miffed about? I just don't feel like dating Kenzie anymore. She's been focusing on her daughter more than me. She's emotional too much when people speak bad about her and other garbage. Boy, tell me about it. She ended her friendship with me to quote-unquote change for the better. And everybody has been considering me as a psychopath because of Kenzie's decision. I see. Not just that. I do feel bad she was sexually abused back then, but I don't want to catch no disease from her. If the bitch ain't clean, you'll end up in a dirty position. Only reason why I dated her was because I felt bad for her. What is it? I see your perspective, Jim, and I understand you. You should honestly be with a girl that you're really happy with. And when I mean happy, I mean with a girl that has no issues. Yo, I kinda rock with redheads more than brownies. Clearly, the Steelers are beating the Falcons. Kirk Cousins is so washed. Jim, why the fuck? Bro, I just... With Nixie? You're cheating on me with her? Here we go again. Can you even blame me at this point? This is exactly why I don't want you, always crying, not to mention about your past. I don't want to catch no disease from you. I'm sorry, but it's over. Besides I already got a new interest. So this is it? Dumping my sis like that? Giles, I outta. I retract my threatening remark. I'm not gonna risk ripping you to shreds. I just hope you get your lips stapled one day. Sorry about her. She intends to get pissy whenever her sister is hurt. All good. Look, I'd love to stay for a while with you, but I gotta go relax, without other hoes bothering me. Kids piss me off badly I swear. Jim getting sick of Kenzie himself made my job much easier. Sooner, Jim will be mine for good and Kenzie will feel as small as an ant.